Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today, let's talk about Play's macOS simulator. Our simulator allows you to experience your prototypes on your desktop. Now, you're not mirroring from your phone. We're actually rendering it on the desktop for you. Now, of course, we still encourage you to use your iPhone for testing, especially before you pass things over to your developers, because it's critical to test things in their native environment. That said, we've heard from a lot of users that they find it more efficient to initially start testing in the same, on the same device that they're designing. So that's your desktop. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through some of the features of our macOS simulator. So on Play for Mac OS, in interaction mode, you'll have this node to the right of all of your interactions. Same as before, you can connect different devices, but you can also now connect simulators from here. So you'll just click under simulators and it's gonna open by default, the most recent iPhone, which is a 16 Pro. And you can just move this anywhere around that you'd like to. You can interact with this just like you would on your iPhone. And you can also add multiple simulator windows at once. So I'll just go back over onto my Mac OS device, click on new simulator, and you'll see a new window has added here. You can create as many different simulator windows as you want, and you can even change which size each simulator shows. So right now there's a both 16 Pro, but I could instead make this one show an iPhone 15. Now on the simulator window, you'll see several other properties. First is reset. So you can reset your prototype. Of course, you can't do the two finger double press on your um, desktop. So this refresh window is what you'll use. We'll also have the ability to change between light and dark mode here. I don't think this prototype has that, but if yours does, you can test it. You can also record from inside the simulator window. So clicking on this, allowing it to record your screen, will record just this window. So you can test your prototype out and then stop the video, it'll save to your desktop and you can share it with anyone you want in addition to that app clip. We also allow you to change the animation speed. So by default, it's gonna use the exact properties you created in play, but you could also make this a lot slower. So if I wanted to see how this returns back, it's now moving in ultra slow motion all the way back. You can also change those settings from the simulator menu. So we've got record here, reload, all of the, um, UI appearance stuff. We have the animation speed. You can choose if you want the simulator to stay on top. You can add a bezel or remove the bezel. You can also choose if you want the simulator to appear physical accurate, sorry, point accurate size or physical size. You can also open a new simulator window from here. And you can choose if you want the ask to switch projects green button when you open a new project on your Mac, if you want that to appear or not, allowing you to switch a simulator to a different project. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is making this a custom size. Now we're gonna create a whole video on how you can create custom size designs in play, but just as a sneak peek, you can create this custom size here, and then you can actually interact with this in the bigger size. So you can see this more resembles a desktop or an iPad. So it allows you a lot more flexibility rather than whatever iPhone you have, you can test on any of the iPhones we offer here or a custom screen size. And again, we'll talk more about custom sizes in future videos. And that is Play's macOS simulator. Thanks so much for watching this video.